jobs that we send our very own Matt Gregory to find them in a segment called Working It. Now this week he's outside a DC grocery store that sells only locally produced foods. Yeah, Reese, the foods here at Glens Garden Market all come from local producers or local farms, and it actually comes from a family right here that owns this grocery store that has a history of supermarkets in their DNA. But the reason they started Glens Garden Market really doesn't have anything to do with the lineage of grocery store owners. It has everything to do with fighting climate change. Do you ever wonder who runs a grocery store? My name is Danielle Vogel, and I'm the founder of Glen's Garden Market. Well, inside you'll find people coming in to buy local organic produce and locally created foods. And you'll also find that Danielle has supermarkets in her DNA. My father started a grocery chain, his father started a grocery chain, my mom's dad started a grocery chain, but it was never my interest. I wanted to work for my congressman. Before she stocked the aisles, Danielle worked on the Hill. And years ago, you would have found her pushing for climate change laws in Senate offices, like Senator Joseph Lieberman's. But... I got frustrated with the lack of progress in Congress on climate change, and I decided to start a business that was very intentionally motivated by my goal to make incremental climate change progress. And that idea came from deep within. How about a grocery store? Climate change progress, one bite at a time. Everything in the store shares that same message. The food has to come from the Chesapeake Bay watershed. It's the fruit, it's the chips, yes, even the condiments. The power behind the freezer comes from solar energy. When you finish your food, make sure you compost. In all this, did you wonder, who is the Glen and Glen's Garden Market? It shouldn't surprise you that name came from within Danielle's heart. It's her father. I opened a grocery store with absolutely no retail experience, no management experience, but I had a very deep-seated genetic coding to succeed in this industry. So I have to say thank you to my father, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather for doing this. So do you have a unique job or, or a unique workplace? If you have a unique job or workplace, get at me on Twitter at News or email me at mgregory at wusa9.com. We'd love to come to your office and show how you're working it in D.C. Back to you, Reese. All right, that, that's a great story about her and her father. I personally thought it was Glenn Campbell the whole time that she named it after, like a rhinestone cowboy. That's a classic. You know rhinestone cowboy, Larry. Oh, cowboy. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's your inspiration every Friday. You go, <laughs> 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 All right, Mary, what's the one thing we need to know?